I've always wanted an Academy Award, but Hollywood has never quite recognised my cinematic talents. How you doing? So I'm going to take things into my own hands and become the first YouTuber ever to win an Oscar. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. This isn't going to be easy, but I love a challenge here on the Max Fosh YouTube channel. Come on. This is the story of how I convinced an Oscar winner to bet their award, all so I could give that Oscar to the teacher <laughs> who cast me in my first ever play. There we go. But there's one big problem. I am such an idiot. Why on earth would any Oscar winner bet their most prized possession? I think you'll find it. They're mine. This video has been sponsored by Adobe. I need to win an Oscar, mainly because I want to thank my teacher that started me off on this creative journey that is now, weirdly, my job. <laughs> so that one of her pupils is an Academy Award winner. We all know it takes ages to win an Oscar in the normal way. Just ask Leonardo DiCaprio, and if you're under the age of 25, he'll probably reply. So we all know I'm not going to win an Oscar from the Academy, but I might be able to win an Oscar from an Oscar winner. So this is my plan. I'm going to find an Oscar winner, I'm going to challenge them to a game, and I'm going to convince them to bet their Oscar as the prize. And so if I win, I can then say I have won an Oscar, making me Max Fosh. Oscar winner. There is one gargantuan problem with this plan. I don't know anyone who's won an Oscar yet. So over the next few hours, I made a list of Oscar winners, their agents, and any contact information that I could find online. But if you thought I'd stop at just trying to win an Oscar, you'd be dead wrong. Back in the day, I was pretty much a triple threat. So I wanted to do something that very few had ever done win an award for stage, television and film, an Olivier, a BAFTA and an Oscar. And after a couple of weeks of admin, I was on the way to win my first award. Um, so with a BAFTA, Olivier and an Oscar, I would have won a boo. Sorry to frighten you. I haven't heard back from the, any of the Oscar winners, but right now I'm on the way to collect my first award, the BAFTA. Hello, James. Very smart. I thought I'd dress up for the occasion. Good to see you. And you. And, oh, careful. Bit of a flex. That's yours. <laughs> it is, yeah. This is James. He's a BAFTA award winning writer, and I wanted to win his award off him. Do you have this with you at all times? Well, the reason I've got it is because you said you wanted to borrow it. No, so. I want to win it. I did indeed want to win it, and as James was a writer, I thought I'd play him at a writing game. Okay. The challenge who can write the longest word using alphabetic spaghetti. Ah, okay. Fine. And if I write a longer one than you, I can have your BAFTA. On your marks, get set, go. It's a really unpleasant experience, this. Thanks, Max. I think I might have got a funny tin. Struggling for vowels. Yeah. Interesting. I think I know why. I wasn't coming here to lose, so before starting, I've removed every single vowel from James's alphabet spaghetti. Good luck making words now, Jimbo. Do you need some vowels? You got, you I've got, got some ten of just now, How long have we got? Ten seconds. Oh, you're joking. Three, two, one, stop. What have you got? I've got five. Yeah, I've got three. Uh, <laughs> okay. Which, under the circumstances, <laughs> was pretty good going. I've got boobs. Have you? Yeah, well, <laughs> I've just got, just got poo. <laughs> I think you've won the BAFTA. Temporarily. No, no, Temporarily. I've, won, I've won the BAFTA. Temporarily. I've won the BAFTA. Okay. Are you going to make like, an acceptance speech or something like that? Oh, that's a good idea. <clears throat> um, God, what do you say in these things? I'd like to thank my mum and dad, my agent, and Adobe and Creative Cloud. Adobe is incredibly important in my creative process and I use various different tools such as Premiere Pro and Photoshop to make these videos. And you may have seen me editing some unusual stuff with Photoshop before, like this thumbnail. This was all made in Adobe Photoshop. Oh no, the reflection in the fishbowl is covering up my ears. Using Photoshop's generative fill and leaving the prompt space blank, it will automatically fill in what it thinks should be there in the background. But more importantly, this video has been made using Premiere Pro, the whole thing. It's also going to help me on my quest because just yet we haven't quite found ourselves an Oscar winner. So I'm going to use a combination of Photoshop's generative fill feature and Premiere Pro's awesome effect for green screens, Ultra Kia, to make a pitch video to hopefully snag me that Oscar. I'm just a man standing in front of award winner asking them to do something really silly. Also, do you have an Oscar? I'm going to be sending this off to more award winners to see if I can get a nibble. Make sure you check out the link in my description and download Adobe Creative Cloud today so you can start creating. I'll bring this back in 24 hours. <laughs>
Certainly got a lot off your chest there. One award in the bag. Bapper secured. I still had no word back from any Oscar winners. Next award, please. But in my weeks of messaging and research, I did have another lead. But yet again, not for an Oscar. This was Henry Lewis. Hi. 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 It's me and Max. And this is his Olivier Award, the top prize for professional theatre in London. That. Yeah. What did you win it for? Uh, uh, for the play that goes wrong. Fantastic. No. Writer produced it, acted in it, starred in it. That's right. Yeah. Right, sing the theme tune. I didn't write the theme tune. No, oh. I can't take that credit. Olivier, I would like to win it. You'd like to win it? Okay. Do you have anything within your brain which is full of fantastic wonderments that could prove to you that I do indeed am worthy of winning the Olivier from exactly. me? Okay, I, it's got to be a riddle, right? If you can solve the riddle, it's yours. Okay. When I'm young, I stand up tall. When I'm old, I'm very, very small. What am I? I mean, my immediate thought is Danny DeVito, but... <laughs> it's a tricky one. Give me a clue. It's not alive. So Danny DeVito, obviously alive, <laughs> wouldn't be Danny DeVito. This, this is remarkably embarrassing. But, you know, it's for the Olivier. Yes. So, you know. <laughs> is it a candle? A candle is absolutely right. Yeah, when it burns down, of course, it's small. Congratulations, it's all yours. I'd like to thank my mum. No, we don't have time. We don't have time. <laughs> Olivier Award won. I had now officially won two major entertainment awards, but one still remained just out of reach. Now it's time for the big one, the Oscar. If I was going to get my hands on an Oscar, I was going to need to go back to the drawing board. This might be already quite common knowledge for you, but I am such an idiot. I've won an Olivier and I've won a BAFTA. Really cool, but I don't have an Oscar, which was my goal all along. In this whole process, I've been trying to find Oscar winners from the people who were on screen, your Meryl Streeps, and unsurprisingly, she hasn't got back to me. But of course, there are so many other categories that you can win an Oscar for. Best engineering effects. I should have been reaching out to the unsung heroes. They are, by definition, quite sung because they have won an Oscar. But you know what I mean. And this had a bit more luck. A few days later, I'd heard back from someone who knew someone who knew someone's auntie's dog, who knew someone else, who knew an address for me to show up at the next day. Hello! This is Jenny Bevan. She's an icon, a costume designer extraordinaire, and perhaps the nicest woman I've ever met in a long time. I love clothes when I'm telling stories, but in real life, I'm majorly uninterested. Mm. So do you keep them all in kind of one place? Oh, no. They fight a lot on them. It's a bit ridiculous. They're all just... <laughs> oh, she's also won quite a few things. With Academy Awards for Best Costume Design for A Room With A View, Jenny Bevan, Mad Max Fury Road, and Cruella, and that's just to name a few. These are Emmys. That's the Olivier. So I've, I've gone around London trying to find BAFTA Olivier winners. I could have just come here the whole time. And after hearing about my plan to surprise my old teacher, she was willing to put one of her Oscars on the line. So Jenny, this is what, yep. we, what we shall be playing yep. for one of your Academy Awards. Okay. Are you familiar with the game of Guess Who? Okay. I used to be quite good at it. I'd prepared a custom Guess Who board game for Jenny, made up entirely of characters from movies she herself has worked on. But could I beat her at her own game? Well, I think they should go right here to have a good look at the Guess Who game, Absolutely. don't you? Absolutely. One starts by choosing your character. Yep. Okay, I am... I'm locked in. Right, okay. So do I ask, like, is, is your character wearing a hat? My first question may be, if I was to wear this at Sainsbury's, would I get any odd looks? Well, yeah, that's a difficult question. You would with all of them. <laughs> if you turned up at Sainsbury's, yes. So, I think that Hayley Atwell is gone. Daniel Day-Lewis. Although it would be quite in character, I would look out of place if I turned up as Colin Firth in The King's Speech. OK. Did I enjoy working on this film? <laughs> I think you I think you did enjoy working on this film for one very specific reason. He's right. Would I be able to fit into your individual's costume? Yes. Oh, okay. So, I think Imelda Staunton's quite small. I don't think I'd fit into Emma Stone's Cruella. I didn't say it wouldn't be close. <laughs> I don't think you could fit. After some back and forth, I knew my only chance of winning was to take a shot at a guess. I think I'm going to make my final guess here. Is your person Dame Emma Thompson? Correct. <laughs> well played. 
You win. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> you win. You know what's also funny? And my character me. was also Damon Thompson. <laughs> I had done it. I had now officially won not only an Oscar, but a BAFTA and an Olivier as well. Thank you. I'll be back. <laughs> I think you're fine if you don't own those. No, I've just won it. Okay. Thank don't you. Give them to your gorgeous seat. Thank you. And all that was left to do was to show them off to Mrs. Hunter, the woman who started it all 25 years ago. Look who it is! Oh! <laughs> look, look. <laughs> there we go. Look, that's what you did. <laughs> I did this? Yes. <laughs> With this, you very much saw something in me at the oh, very beginning. At the very beginning. 100%. <laughs> and so what I have done is that I wanted to go out and I wanted to be a decorated actor. I've always wanted to be a decorated <laughs> actor. So what I've done is I have actually... Oh, here it comes. I have actually <laughs> got you here. <laughs> This is an actual Oscar. <laughs> I won it off of a costume designer who won it for Mad Max Fury Road. Just such a privilege. It is. Pride oh, of place. Where shall I stick it? <laughs> <laughs> right, um, I actually do need it back. <laughs> Don't forget to click the link in the description to try Adobe Creative Cloud now.